Smokey's bigger though. She said, I'm the Smell pizza daddy. Like she smell cucumbers, onions, and pickles. And tomatoes. So making pumpkin muffins. Which one of these do we pour in for? How about the sugar? Good morning, friends. If you're new here, my name is Candy. I'm a mom to five on my channel. I share a lot of homeschooling, homesteading, gardening, day in life, what's for dinner, canning, grocery hauls, all kinds of fun stuff. Today, Miss Maddie is helping me out with breakfast. We are going to make up some pumpkin muffins. I've already pre-measured everything so she can just pour it in the mixer for me. We'll get it mixed up and into muffin pans and in the oven. I'll leave the recipe in the description box below in case you guys want to try these muffins yourself. They were really, really delicious. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday We added some chocolate chips and some pumpkin spice chips just for fun. After filling up our muffin pans, we still had some left, so we just made a small loaf of bread as well. Now I'm gonna get some dinner going in the slow cooker. I put a chuck roast in here with a quart jar of potatoes and a pint jar of carrots and some caramelized onion seasoning. Mika wants to make a cake and frosting for teen night tonight, so she is gonna make this Texas sheet cake and chocolate frosting while I work on read aloud time. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can because my microwave is broken, I just reheated the spaghetti in a baking dish in the oven, and that is our lunch today. Falling down.
Good afternoon, friends. It is Friday afternoon. It has been a busy, busy day, and I'm ready for a nap. Um, yeah, last night I got a bug to clean house, so I deep cleaned the bathroom, laundry room, did three loads of laundry, and got it all folded and put up. Um, cleaned the dining room, cleaned the kitchen, found a bunch of cups and things my kids had upstairs, got those washed and put up as well, and I ended up not going to bed till three. <laughs> So, this morning got back up at 6, made pumpkin chocolate chip muffins with Maddie and some pumpkin chocolate chip bread, got all that made up, and that was breakfast today. For lunch, we did leftover spaghetti in between schoolwork and things because we've been working on lap books and binders and just all the things today. Kids just went on a walk and got back home. Nika has been working on a sheet cake for her co-op, uh, what do they call it, teen night where all the teenagers get together and they play games and different stuff. And she's gonna bring that. So she's working on frosting that now. I thought I should hop on here and say hi. I was just out here checking on animals. So hi, good afternoon. Um, we've got a lot of changes and things that have been going on the last few weeks, but I haven't really talked on them. So I guess I should mention one of them is that James took a in-town job, it's like, I don't know, it's like an hour from home, but he's home every night or should be home every night and he's home weekends and it should be, it should be a good change for us. We'll have more time with him. He'll have, you know, still have weekends home, but he'll be home at night and it should be a pay increase as well. So we're excited about that. It'll be a big change and a different change, but yeah, so, um, it's, it's going to be a big change for sure because I've been so used to him being on the road forever that it's going to be different but i'm still excited i'm excited that he'll be here at night so i thought i'd kind of tell you guys about that because you guys might be seeing more of him he doesn't really like to be in videos but sometimes you might see him but that's what's going on with that um we've got some other changes i'll talk to you guys about when i have time to sit and chat but um what else cj's at work they're still working on a roofing job from that tornado that hit we had some more tornadoes the other night so I have a feeling he's going to be doing a lot more roofing jobs with his uncle over the next few months, which, you know, it's fine. He's learning, he's learning new things. He's learning about, you know, roofing, construction, all kinds of stuff. And he really seems to be enjoying it. So it's fine, you know, and he's making really good money. He's really excited because he's planning to buy a truck and he is set on getting a square body pickup truck for his first truck. So anyways, he's, he's doing really good at that. And um, he gets up, he gets himself up every morning. He is up dressed, sitting on the porch, drinking coffee at 7.30, waiting on his uncle to get here at eight. So yeah, I'm really proud of how well he's actually doing because he's not a morning person. But thought I'd hop on here, kind of chat with you guys. Um, I think I'm gonna walk around for a little bit, just get some extra walking in. And then I'm gonna go in and check on the roast that I started this morning. I just threw a chuck roast in my slow cooker with a quart jar of uh, potatoes and carrots that I drained and just dumped right in. I did some caramelized onion butter seasoning and some pepper and garlic, and then a pint jar of chicken broth and just let it cook on low all day. So I'm gonna try to um, check it and see if it's ready to kind of break, if it's breaking up or if it needs to cook longer because I really like it when it falls apart. And then I'm going to make some Alfredo to go with it because we ate mashed potatoes twice this last week. So something different. I'm just going to make some Alfredo and then a veggie. I don't know what, but an extra veggie other than potatoes and carrots. And that'll be dinner. It'll be easy. That's what I was going for this morning when I threw it in the slow cooker. So anyways, I think that's about all I needed to tell you guys today. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to walk around for a little bit. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. What's going on? I don't know how I could get out. Here is our finished dinner. I just kind of pulled the roast apart with forks. I boiled some penne noodles, added some Alfredo sauce, and heated up some ranch beans as well. I also made a cornstarch slurry and stirred that into the gravy of the roast just to thicken that up a little bit. We are eating kind of early tonight because CJ and Mika have teen night and I've got to take them over there and drop them off so they can hang out and play games and stuff with their friends. But this is dinner tonight. We have our roast with the potatoes and carrots, our 
alfredo and our ranch beans. With the wind blowing in your hair. It's 8.45 and I'm headed to go pick up Mika and CJ from Teen Night. I just got kids picked up from Teen Night. I've got to get some dinner dishes cleaned up, kids ready for bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow because I am tired. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming along today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, darling. You know we're gonna have a really good time. Driving in the middle.